Thank you. So in the forms of communication, communication goes both ways. It does. So if I've texted you last, it's not your responsibility, not your duty, but it's on you to continue the conversation mm -hmm. by replying it back. Mm -hmm. It's not on me to be like, oh, hey, three times in a row. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Because I've read these people. Because that's, like, that's doing too so much. Because I've, I've dealt with people who they always call or text first. Mm hmm but I always respond, mm -hmm. or I always pick up the phone. Yeah. Go ahead. Let you let you cook. I'll let you cook. Let, First let off, you cook. What have I not responded? Any times? <laughs> no. Any times? I, no. I, I mean, them, them times you really need to be yourself, but any no, times. I've responded. Days later. I probably ain't never realized it. Mm -hmm. See. Put your Anyways. Burner. Anyways. First off, mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Both of y'all. I'm like, I'm like that food in the back of the fridge. I'm like, 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 Sam's car and a cigar, a cigar a store you are membership. Nigga, nigga, I ain't distinguished now. Don't worry about nigga, it. you see the glasses? I am fucking distinguished now. I am a grown ass man. Mm, such a gentleman. No, not a gentleman. Fuck a gentleman. <laughs> see, I'm, a, I'm, just I'm, a, I'm a grown ass man. <laughs> he said, put some respect on his thing. Grown man. Sam's car, cigar. It smells like big day, sir. There we go. I see my. And I had a physical day. And I had a physical day. And I had a physical day. Dr. Sam had a clean bill of health. I'm a grown ass motherfucking man. Period. And I communicate. Let them bees hurt when they get cold. They do. Mm -hmm. They do. The weather been changing. Them motherfuckers been. I'm trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. Not for real. Yes. Sponsorship. She need, no, for real. She need to get on YouTube and start putting out content like sponsor, please. Baby, this ain't no TSU. She for needs reason. to go fill out an application for a scholarship because you need you need something. She needs somebody. She need to go back to college. <laughs> no, she needs to go back to college. She, 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 she must have ignored that independent song and then she started listening to Tia Marie See, sponsor. So what it is now is I'm gonna tell, start telling women if y'all want a sponsorship and not a man, go back to college okay. and get an NIL deal. Not for real. Mm. Mm. Get an NIL deal. <laughs> get your NIL deal, you ain't got to pay no bill. Bar. 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 Mm. Bar. You feel me? Bar. Mm. NIL deal ain't got to pay no bill. <laughs> Not for real. <laughs> that serious. Like, it's it's sickening. I don't like it. But them the ones they go for. That's what y'all niggas be going for. No, nah, I don't. Yeah, you know. Nah. I know. My, 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 more, my speed is... Uh, let me get your phone number and then I don't do nothing with you. Don't even call you. Don't. You don't do the call and they don't do the call. They don't do the call. Say, you, say, you ain't shit. <laughs> I'm say, I, I can see you doing some shit like that. You know? He I mean, don't play, gotta play sometimes. Hey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. NIL, deal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, they don't do the call. Like, I had one just recently was talking to somebody and she said, fuck that nigga. Uh, they gave me the number. Uh, <laughs> it's like he, used, it's like he used it for a little bit, but then he got inconsistent. And incons it's like consistency gets you far with me. And I think yes. that's what it, I, I real I low key feel like that's with any woman. Like, mm -hmm. you're going to get far with consistency. But inconsistency ain't going to get you shit with me. Because here's the thing you call me two days and then you just stop. I'm going to hit you back once. I'm gonna hit you back once. And the next day, if you're not consistent, I'm not finna chase you. But what is that call it? So if he calls you two days in a row, because this, this, this is a great transition. <laughs> so if he calls you two days in a row <laughs> and he texts you the third day, is that not consistent? It is consistent. Okay. No, so what I'm saying is right. what's inconsistent is you calling me, we talk for like, I'm gonna say like we three, four, three, four, five days straight. Mm -hmm. And then you send me a text message. And I'm using this example because this just really just happened with me. Fresh on your mind. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, you send me a text message. 
You asked me what I was doing. I sent you a tip. No, actually, you texted me and said good morning. I said good morning back to you. And then it was crickets. And then two days passed. And then you come texting me on the third day, telling me some good morning. I was like, good morning. And then you ended up calling me. And you like, oh, yeah, so you, dang, you just getting rid of me that quick. I so text you. About. So I literally screenshotted the, the timestamp on the side. <laughs> exactly. And I screenshot the timestamp on the side to him, only for him to send me a screenshot. And obviously, he didn't get the text message. I don't know why he didn't get it, but he didn't get it. The text guys didn't let him get it. Clearly, the text guys is like clearly. Yeah. So then he say, "Dang, you throwing me away like that?" So no, I'm not. Like I, ain't, you ain't did nothing to me for me to like, you know, stop talking to you. So get back consistent again. He, I was like, that, I ain't heard from you like in two days or whatever like that. He told me, son, well, when you didn't send me no text messages back, I was like, let me let me wait a couple days and then I'll I text you back. So then consistent again mm -hmm. for like another week or so. And then all of a sudden, crickets again. And then when you did, when he did come back to say something <laughs> to me, <laughs> it was nine days later, y'all, when he fucking texted me back. Only for him to text What's me. What's up? He hit me with the H-R-U. How are you? Oh, okay. He couldn't spell that out. Okay. <laughs> well, my old ass bitch. Nigga, I started. Got to the class. H-R-U. Oh, Holly. How are you? Okay. All right. He hit me with the H-R-U. Okay. And it's either that or what's up? Mm -hmm. Y'all, oh, when I say when he hit me with that, my response was, "I'm good." Who is this? Ooh, you disrespectful. You disrespectful. Don't clap on that one. You disrespectful. <laughs> I said, you disrespectful. "Who is this?" And he, 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 he was showing with the. And he came. Damn, it's like that now. He, no, no, he came back with the. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong number. I said, oh, okay. You right. Definitely. Then right. I came back with the you playing fucking games. I know exactly who you is and you know who this is too. But you started the game. Crickets. But, you but that's the thing. Like, I don't give a damn. You started the game. Stop playing with me. So Bust the fuck up. What do you I'm stop this But so, he too old to be playing games like that. But honestly, I don't, I wasn't looking for nothing serious with him because you're 45 years old and you Damn. got your own place. Mm. 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 You live in that hotel, hotel. Mm. Brother, I hope you ain't watching this because I, I know you And you pretty. fucking Uber full time. That's your only job. Hey, man, mm. don't disrespect the Uber. Uber make money. I don't give a damn. Uber makes money. He, he and, he has a, and he has a benefits. And he ain't making enough to have his own place. They get benefits. They do. They have he ain't got enough money. He ain't got enough money. To get his own place. Because you supposed to move in. Mm. Hell no. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Ain't no, you know, man. So, you're not doing that. So, now, let me transition to that. I hate a motherfucker, but you mad at me? So, with this communication, mm -hmm. if you have texted somebody, yeah. are you wrong to not respond back or text this person again until they respond back to you? Okay. So, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. So, in my mind, hit me out. Ride with me. Ride with me real quick. Flow with me real quick. Okay. What about you? Okay. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Come with me real quick. Come with me real quick. <laughs> so, real quick. My mindset is this calling is a form of communication, texting is a form of communication. Correct? Is. Correct? Correct. It is. We here? We same page. Right back. Left nipple, right nipple. We here? We together. <laughs> Put them together in the front. All right. Okay. But you let him go grab and he goes separate ways. You feel me? So we here. You like some balls. So don't we, worry about it. So if I didn't texted you a good morning message mm -hmm. and you don't respond back for that whole day, mm -hmm. is it my job to text you that next day? No. Mm -mm. So I'm not wrong to not reply back until you reply back. Because now I'm not wrong. Chasing. Thank you. So, in the forms of communication, communication goes both ways. It does. So, if I've texted you last, it's not your responsibility, not your duty, but it's on you to continue the conversation mm -hmm. by replying back. Mm -hmm. It's not on me to be like, oh, hey, three times in a row. Mm -hmm. yeah. No. 
Okay, because I've read these people because that like, that's, like, that's doing so much. Because I've, I've dealt with people who they always call or text first, mm -hmm. but I always respond mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or I always pick up the phone. That's yeah. Me. Okay, let you let you cook. I'm gonna let you cook. Let, First let off, you cook. What have I not responded? Any times? <laughs> no. Any times? I, no. I, I mean, there's no times you really did yourself, but any no, times. I've responded. Days later. I probably ain't never realized it. Mm hmm See, put the trash burner. Try Anyways. First off. Doesn't matter. Both of y'all. I'm like this. I'm like that food. You get in the trunk. I'm like. Doesn't matter. I'm like that food in the bag of refrigerator that go in there too long and you ain't threw away in about five months. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Damn, I'm just not seeing this. That's mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm you cook. That's disgusting. I'm you cook. Communication <laughs> is what we're talking about. <laughs> I should plug every single white hair. <laughs> it's a lot of Do you not know I'm distinguished? I got gray hair, Sam's car, and a cigarette, a cigar. A uh, store you are membership, a nigga. I am distinguished now. Don't worry about it. You see the glasses? I am fucking distinguished now. I am a grown ass man. Mm, such a gentleman. No, not a gentleman. Fuck a gentleman. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a grown ass man. <laughs> he said, "Put some respect on this man." Grown man. Sam's car, cigar. It smells like big day, sir. There we go. I see my. And I had a physical day. Oh, and I had a physical day. <laughs> and I had a physical day. Not to say I had a clean bill of health. I'm a grown ass motherfucking man. Period. And I communicate. Let them knees hurt when they get cold. They do. Mm -hmm. They do. The weather been changing. Them motherfuckers been. I'm trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. Not for real. Dead serious. But no. Good. As far as communication, I, I always respond first. If we stop at my text within that same day, we stop at my text. Mm -hmm. I will text again and be like, hey, what's up? But if I don't hear from you after that, mm -hmm. or if I don't hear from you the next day, mm -hmm. I'm not going to chase you. Yeah. So my next question is, this is weird, because I got my people in me, oh, my hottest boy. people in the city, I keep Jeez. them with me. You feel me? No, my left and right hand sisters. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? We're going to get all this shit on the table today. <laughs> when somebody tells you that they're not a texter, is that on you in that situation that they respond back to you? Because being not been texted is a, is a choice. It is. Correct? It is. I there's know, there's I know, like I, a form, of, like there's a, a little bit of compromise. Like you always want to talk on the phone, but you know, I'm a texter. So like you got to kind of. Give you this one. Put you in a scenario, put you in an example, put you in a ball. Shoot that shit. Okay. Somebody works in their line of work that they do. They can't be on the phone unless it's text business. Mm -hmm. And they work long hours. Yep. At that time frame, who is in the wrong if I've texted you mm -hmm. and my whole 12, 15 hour shift go by, you ain't responded. Is it my responsibility to call you at that point? Nope. I'm going to say nah, just because you already done reached out already. So I re And I know for a fact you've looked at your phone because you... Uh, here's the thing. People a lot lie. of times, a lot of times, a lot of you motherfuckers who are Apple users Not so have smartwatches. Mm. Oh, well, yeah. And I know them text messages pop up on they your do. watch. Mm. And a lot of people do wear watches to yes. work. Mm. Even like if you Apple, can't pick up your phone, even my Apple, my Apple watch broke. No, I got the scenario we're using is the other person is not a texter. Yeah. You're the one at work and can't and be on you the phone. Cause that's like at my job, we can't be on a, we can't talk on the phone, and we technically ain't, we're or technically not supposed to text either. But Our phones I, are supposed to be like face down like this, but every now and again, I'm gonna look so at my. Too. First of all, my but phone like, is on Facebook. If you anyway. know that I'm at work, if I say, babe, you know, I work this time and this time, mm -hmm. you know, that's on you to, hey, remember that? Mm -hmm. I'll be at work from this time to this time. Text me. Mm -hmm. While I'm at work, that person also should know when your lunch time is too. Because but some jobs ain't got lunch breaks. Some jobs you stay. Who job lunch. ain't got no my, lunch break? My time ain't lunch break. With the clients, like your lunch break is during the time that the people in the house is eating and stuff like that. When I work with the kids, you ain't got no Ooh, real breaks. Your breaks is the time when the kids in their room or the kids is having downtime. Uh, so you really still able to get your phone in because this you still, crazy. You still, you still what's called? But you you think about it. What break do you really need if they in their rooms? Or if they sleeping, you, mm -hmm. your break is time today, but you still should be up, not supposed to be on the phone. But mm -hmm. you're you're not doing that. That's a break. So mm -hmm. at that point, mm -hmm. when you have people that jobs like that, 
and they yeah. communicate that with you, I feel like after a 12, 15 hour shift, if you ain't responding back to me, first of all, it ain't my job to call you. If I'm talking to somebody and they working, or if I'm working a 12 hour shift and I ain't talk to you in these 12 hours, we could have a problem. No, and that's my philosophy. My thing is, we no, gonna have a no issue. matter if you're not a texter or not. Yeah, if you, some form of if you but if you know your if you know your person is and mm -hmm. you're not, it's called compromise. You can work with that. You can do that. That's Listen, that's not a that's so but so but a lot I'm of people so don't good. like. It's not. It's a, uh, in most cases, it's more of a take 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 and not a give mm -hmm. and take. Yeah. Yeah, it's I'm yeah. so fucking for other people. Yes. Mm -hmm. If we have not set boundaries to like, okay, did mm -hmm. we're talking to be in a serious relationship. Yes, yeah, seriously. But if it ain't that, I don't owe you shit. Cause at these ages, cause mm -hmm. I think you got at these ages, we got you gotta set healthy boundaries with ages. people. Yeah. Ages, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. it's, right it's just I don't know. It's you gotta just, say healthy. It's something about them because when I do be in that mode of oh I really want to like you, I really want to give you this mm -hmm. attention because you the person that I want. Yeah, you know, motherfuckers take it for granted. Yep. And so when I back up, mm -hmm. oh, so you mad at me? Yes. No, I'm not mad at yep. you. I'm giving you what you're giving me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, it's, I'm glad you just said that. That's what he said to me. He was like, oh, uh. He was like, uh, that ain't, cause he FaceTimed me and I wasn't going to answer because for some reason when they numbers is just, when they text me and they numbers just in text messages, it's cool. They act right. But then once I say their name it's and the look. picture, they start acting fucking stupid. It's look. Yes, it is. Every time. So I after I spoke, so I say this number and he started acting retarded. So I was mm. just like, okay, so uh, that's what. Big R. That was the reason why. I, <laughs> that was the reason why I delete. Like I just deleted. I didn't. I unsaved his number in my phone. With to get the energy back to see him. <laughs> and it still didn't get back. No. Okay. I'm sorry. But uh, the motherfucker gonna tell me. He say, um, I've been uh. He says, so you been all right? I've been. I'm like, yeah, I've been cool. Like I've been working. Like you know, I'm good. He was like, I was just uh calling to check on you or whatever like that. Make sure you cool. I was like, yeah, I'm straight. He told me some. Uh, you just uh, kicked me to the curb. I said, no, nah, I ain't kicking to the curb. I said, I just been busy and I'm giving people, I said, I'm giving motherfuckers the same energy that they giving me. He told me something, is it that you giving people the same energy that they giving you or you giving people the energy that you want? I said, no, nah, I'm giving motherfuckers the energy that they giving me. Because if you really Cause want if you you don't, the energy will be. Because if you energy. ain't going to, if you're not uh texting, then I'm not going to text. If you if you ain't texting me to let me know like you thinking about me throughout the day, then I'm not doing it either. Granted, nine times out of ten, if I'm talking to you and I'm starting to feel you, I'm probably thinking about you any damn way. But guess please what? Let's... Because you're not texting me, please your communication for time. your communication skills is not right. This is this it's is not what, okay. This is what I'm gonna need men to start doing. Stop acting like y'all don't like being chased. Oh, we do. Chase they do. Motherfuckers Chase claim me. that they don't like chasing. But Chase why? Huh? I'm not finna keep chasing after you. Why would I be chasing? If I, I already... chase, like I don't, I, I don't want to chase a grown ass man. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you why would I be chased? Why? Because we do all the chasing. So at, it's to a point where, as a man, if we chasing and chasing and chasing and getting denied over and over again, nigga. Like we said, ain't neither one of us three running a long time. But at the same time, if you know somebody's interested in you, don't know. have me waste. I don't want to chase. Think about this way. We can we as men we get that where we meet somebody we've been chased and they interested in us, and then it, it disappears just like it does with you. So it gets to the point where we're chasing so much we want to get chased back to know that it's a mutual thing. I am the chaser. Yeah, you are the chaser. Why did y'all chase that the cat? <laughs> irritates me the most, and then motherfuckers wonder why. You get two fucking days, bro. Yeah. You, you get two fucking days. Yeah, because least, if you're going to... Netflix, gonna, she give you a seven-day trial. <laughs> if you're going to keep being <laughs> seven day trial. Shit. But here's the thing. You know how I am. Ooh. If I'm texting you every morning... Good morning. Mm -hmm. If I'm texting you throughout the day... <laughs> yep. And the only time you be like, oh, we should hang out. And they set not one fucking time or day nope. mm -hmm. to hang out. Yep. 
I'm not coming to your house that after I get the me. fuck off work. Oh, that irritates Because all me. you want to do is stay in the house and watch Netflix because all you motherfuckers really be wanting to do is fuck. I'm not on it. I'm, a, I'm yep. not going to cuddle with you either. It ain't. Ooh, cuddles. You ain't no cuddles. It ain't. But it's, I am a cuddler, but you got to let me know that you really interested in me. So that way, cuddling turns into cuddling. It's really just because yeah. because Wait, you respect me but sister, enough. How many times have we seen it? We are the exception to the fucking yeah, rules. Because different. all of these females out here, that's all they want. They looking for money. Mm-hmm. They looking for sex, and they okay with sleeping with these dudes. And that's all. The, yeah, that's all they want. So when you get, but this is the thing: when you run into a dude that that's all he's had, mm-hmm. and then he get hold to somebody like one of us. They don't it, know he to act. he it don't, don't know what to do, so he, it's confusing to him because really, he's so used to it being set out to him. Listen, yeah, because I'm really mm-hmm. trying to figure out why lately, blast from the past, motherfuckers be trying to hit me up now. Baby, I ain't got shit for you. You played in my face when I gave yeah, you a motherfucking chance in the first place. But that's what anybody, because my thing is, is, once you once you fuck something up and then you see somebody grow, but no, better, but no, it, like, oh, it gets even that? more yeah. irritating because it's like you had the opportunity because mm-hmm. I was really listen, no. no, 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 listen for me. Mm-hmm. You had the opportunity because at that time I really liked you. I was into you. So what made you change your mind now? Cause we fucked up already. No, no, no. They be like, "Oh, I was scared to be in a relationship." You fucked up already. That, that's the age. But you done got married, and now you got married. Listen, listen. Yeah. The logic behind the logic of Don't the logic, come over here. of the logic yeah. of the scale of logic of the logic scale <laughs> of the scale of logic. <laughs> it ain't logical. I don't want you. Once you have already been married, that's you the done problem. Ran through. I don't because want for you. us, we think like this. All of this, all of this energy. That mm-hmm. you're giving now, you it where was all of this then? Because we didn't but they up didn't yet. have it then, and yet. now they got it now. But I'm gonna say something, exes for some reason, and they they some little tricky little motherfuckers. Mm. Them motherfuckers can smell when you the grew. They mm-hmm. can smell when you the moved on. Mm-hmm. They can smell when you like when you when you go if they especially if they if they still got some some form of way to see you mm-hmm. like through social media or something like that and and you post and stuff or if you, yes, even if you post pictures and stuff like that listen, they can see the growth in you sister. and they ready to come but sister, sister, sister but it, guess what if I give you another chance I'm gonna dog you the fuck out it is. because if I do it it's, it's for because fun because they don't it's, it's for yeah. fun now. but you also gotta look, look at I don't care way. about yeah. your fucking feelings because but back you, then you didn't care about mine but you gotta think about so this guess way. what think about all this the shit way. that you just went through and you trying to come over here where a bitch is healed yeah. and doing good yeah. and that peace I'm about to play with your mother. As a man, man mm-hmm. we got to fuck up to learn. And it's not an excuse. It's not a fucking excuse. I hate it. Don't come over it's here. It's not a fucking excuse. Listen. It's not having 20 fucking kids. But you got to fuck up to realize what you hate. How many times you got to fuck up? Listen, I got to fuck up. For a normal, a normal, a normal motherfucker is once. For a normal motherfucker is once or twice. Mm. Once or twice. And then you hit your head enough that you be like, ooh, fuck, I need to stop hitting my motherfucking head. Mm-mm. But... At that point, when they come back and you gonna dog him out, that point he really is coming back with genuine being gen, being gen, No, it, ten out you, ten. But you know who I'm talking. Yeah, about. I do. But I ten out ten times trust. after a nigga that fucked up and then what his had lived his life and did this and see that you didn't how the person you didn't grow into and still that great person, they were like, damn, I didn't fucked up, fucked up. I didn't hit my head fifteen times. But I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. That's not always the case though, because motherfuckers again. See you happy and doing good. Don't come fuck you they up. just want to come fuck up what you got. They want to really. They yeah. come. They they come to uh, one of my sisters. She say, so she was married mm-hmm. to a guy. She was married to him once when they was like I guess when they was younger or whatever, and then they got a divorce and then they got married again. Mm-hmm. And her thing was, if did he come this like this, when they got back together this time? Was he coming to be to be with her for real, or, or was he else. coming back this time to take what he didn't take from her yeah. the last time? And, and guess what? He was, he was try. He literally was coming to take, take what he, what he didn't have. take the last from it's, her. It's a hard so they ended up se- they ended up separating again. It's so rough. If you genuinely mean it, yeah. 
then okay. Yeah. But if, if you still playing them same fucking mind games that you was playing back in the day, baby, we can have fun, but I'm finna dog you the fuck my out. Thing, my thing is, for real, for real, when you with somebody for the first time, you, everybody takes people for granted. No matter what you say you don't, you always take the person that you with for granted. I agree. Because you get so complacent mm -hmm. with the person that you're with. Like, oh, yep. okay, this person's gonna be here. And you slip both fuck up and you lose it. Mm -hmm. That second time, the person that's genuine, you like, all right, cool. I know what I had at this point. And sometimes it takes for you to fuck up to rebuild and kindle what you're supposed to have. Mm -hmm. Because nobody relationship is perfect. Mm -hmm. Anybody that's together the 35, 45 years, you, you know they done went through some shit. They done, some shit. They, done, yeah. they done broke up. In a sense but, of don't, but don't go playing games with somebody's heart. Especially if you know you just got out of a fucked up relationship and you got so much shit going on. And you see a person over here doing their own thing. Don't don't go fucking it up. But some people it might not be coming to fuck it up. Some people that, that situation is fucking them up. Mm -hmm. Made them realize what they really fucking had. You can't come back. See, that's like with the dude. Yeah. Like, you can't he's, come back. With him, I, my thing is. Because now, I, here's the thing. Now I don't trust you. Because you've been just like bullshitting me the first time. So when mm -hmm. you come back again. You better have your shit together. You better show me. Because guess what? Mean. When but, you come back, my spider senses is this fucking. But that's up. the point, though. And I'm and I'm I'm probably gonna like analyze, look at it. I'm gonna look at it. I wasn't listening to you then. I'm gonna listen. I prefer you to do that. Yeah. Don't don't dog the motherfucker. If a motherfucker come back, have that spider sense. Have that don't trust and make them earn that trust. Yeah. And actually give them out too, because eight out of ten times you're probably right. Motherfucker come back because you see you happy. There's that two percent, the two people that's gonna come mm -hmm. back as genuine, and then you dog them out, and then you really gonna fuck them up for the rest of their life. Because you know, it's already, it's already, it's already they fought for fucking up with you. Yeah. But then you, they come back like with a genuine sense, and then you say, "Fuck, I'm a dog you." And this person has actually changed, and then you fucked up. But like, but either I way, also, it's still a hard situation it because is. I don't want to sit here if you come to me and you claim to be genuine. And I give you this chance, and now we good. But now, you slightly still got feelings for your ex, and they come back trying to be genuine to that person. Mm -hmm. And now you do fucked up what we got. This what I was saying. That's the eight out of ten, though. This, this is what two. I was saying. The two. About, the two. We talking about the two. Yeah. Two. We I ain't never met two. What I was saying about that is, two. I would say, if a person trying to come back, put them through the ringer. And oh, this different girl. If it, it, like if they if they come back, see what's up. Like com compensate with them because I'm telling you, they words they gonna say one thing. Mm -hmm. They actions gonna show you what the fuck they really mean yes, for real. I got one. But but if you are so in your mind like set on that they trip they finna come back and try to fuck some shit up, don't even give them a chance. I don't even have that because now my my in my head because I got one right now. Mm -hmm. Good morning, beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to see how you're doing. Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, so what the fuck was your problem the first time? And if he can sit down and have a conversation with you and admit it, then you should be like, oh, okay. If he can admit his wrongs and admit what he did wrong, why he had that mindset? Because why a lot of men won't. Yeah, if he can sit down and t sit there and be like, hey, I know I fucked you over, and this is why I fucked you over. That I might, felt this way. Now, that right there. But if here's he, the thing. If he give you, you that run down. if he give you that conversation, then I say, Entertainment. But entertainment. And see, so see what happens. Barely. Here's the thing. Barely. Don't know she a fool. Listen. Listen. Because the gangsta the gang, the nigga. That shit on, like, she that shit on she Fort Knox right now. That shit on Fort Knox. Listen, I've been trying to be feminine and let motherfuckers And win. Play, and win. And, win. and, and win. fucking win. She does. I give her that. She has her moments. Mm -hmm. but like when, some when, shit when like, I'm genuinely feeling you, I try to be as girly as I can. <laughs> but when the math ain't math, then the four knocks turn in. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Cause like I feel like, and I always tell people this all the time: when you meet somebody or when somebody start coming in your life, now if that person come in your life and see that you're doing better, you're a healed person. Are you really healed if you have not moved on to forgive that person? You know that person fucked up. If you're a healed person and you've grown as a person that you are. There should be no stick stigma of, no nigga, you fucked me up, you over. No nigga, I've healed from you. I'm over you. But here's the 
I give motherfuckers more than one chance. But at that point, you're good with holding it. But if it, the person fucking one time. like, oh, okay, I'm holding this against you still. No, we didn't heal. We didn't. It, we're grown now. I've given motherfuckers a chance, but they still show me why. I just shouldn't give do. motherfuckers mm-hmm. a second chance. Because yeah. it's, it's different levels to it. Like if somebody hurt you mentally because they was playing you, yeah. that's one thing. I'm like, all right, I can come back from that. I can give you another chance. I can get to relearn who you are, who you've grown into over these four or mm-hmm. five years. If you put your hands on me, abuse no wise, there's no comeback from that no, because that's not. physical. Yeah, that's like, not. That's physical. I almost get. Uh, no, I, 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 you no, say, no. Not, <laughs> yeah, not the physical. I got scared. Not, I got the physical, nervous. So, not the physical, but I feel like for me, because mm-hmm. I've been, I, I've never been in, like in a relationship where it got physical, never. Mm-hmm. But I have been in a relationship where it was verbal abuse. Mm-hmm. And for me, I didn't recognize what it was, but when I started like healing my like going through the process of me healing from that situation, I learned that it was verbal abuse. Mm-hmm. There's no coming back from that. He want me back bad as hell. There's no coming back from that for me. For to me, I feel like you did so like the verbal damage that you did to me. It's worse than fucking physical abuse because guess what? The physical abuse, them bruises would have healed. Mm. This verbal shit, I still it still, still played in, in my mind. It still played in my mind. It don't do it as much now shit, because physical. I because I've healed from it. But in the past, it like after me and him broke up, that shit played in my head. It shit. always played in my head mm. constantly. But because I started doing work on myself, mm. it not, like I still hear it sometimes, but. It ain't as often as it used to be. It's just, I don't want to be Rashida and Kurt. <laughs> physical and, don't want to be physical and, and mental, and mental are one in the, one of the same don't. because physical might, your bruises might heal, but that shit's still mentally in your, in your mind, system. yeah. Now, when I say, not verbal, me, verbal and physical. No, so I know what you mean. Mentally, I, I put mentally in the stable of a person cheated on you, a person lied to you. Them things, you can come back from. Because them things, you can fix them to things. Mentally, you can fix that. Mm-hmm. But that verbal, when I didn't call you a fat motherfucker, ugly yeah. motherfucker, dirty motherfucker, yeah. stupid motherfucker, I didn't beat your ass. There's no really no coming back. That's what you ain't got shit. Yeah. Say that's what and, that's, back and you know what? And that's what he used to do. He used to, so you, you at this big age that you are. <laughs> oh, that's not Man, I'm trying to <laughs> tell you. <laughs> at this big age you are, you want to say, oh, you going out spending money on this, 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 and this, and you don't got this, 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 and this in your yeah, house. But the crazy house. thing is, you don't you have all these items that you're saying that I don't have in my house. You're saying that I don't have them, but you have them. Well, guess what? You don't have a home to put them in. So how are you gonna verbally abuse me about not having something? So then when we separate Contradict yourself. And, <laughs> contradiction. But when you come but then when you when we separate, all the stuff that you said I didn't have in my house, I got, I got in my house now. Because mm-hmm. you were the blockage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not for real. Because I hate when people do that. But like, but you see back when you started working on yourself, you would start think like it, I literally had to sit back and think about all of that. Like you really verbally abused it's me just, the whole time we were together. It's so hard to date these days because everybody think, but they don't want you to know. I got my own life. I got my own car. What's that TikTok that be say? What I be say? I, I tell everybody this. At this the point, TikTok, I feel like TikTok, I should just uh, stick to dating females because lately men and women have been acting the fucking same. That TikTok said, "Listen, <laughs> women don't date." Niggas for money. We are the niggas with the money. Thank you. We the niggas in, with the in money. In situations, yes. We but the but if, if we go realistically, ninety percent of the time. But here's the thing. Ninety percent of the time, the, it's the opposite. It's the, the I, thing I, is, I, I it be the broke motherfucker that be like, oh, she just want her. Baby, what you got? What you got? Broke. Y'all got, got them fucked up, nigga. Broke. What am I trying to say? McDonald's manager, nigga. You got them fucked up. What the fuck am I trying to McDonald's say? McDonald's manager, nigga. Because the motherfuckers with the money ain't complaining. They tricking all motherfucking that. I can never it say ain't tricking if you can't. I can't trick. I can't fucking. It trick. ain't tricking if you can't. Even if I had it, I wouldn't. Let me hit the lotto right now. I'm still not tricking. It ain't tricking if you can't. I'm not tricking because at the end of the day, I can tell what a motherfucker. Your whole conversation, every other conversation we have is, oh, I. 
So we get that ooh and ah, or, yeah, this could be better. Oh, what the fuck you want? <laughs> what the fuck you want? <laughs> what the fuck you want? It could be better. No, motherfucker. What, what is it that you want? What, what the fuck do you want? Well, you know, $20 because my light might be off. How the fuck you your light bill get $20? Mm-hmm. Or, yeah, you know, I'm about to get put out next week. So mm-hmm. you didn't know for a month you about to get put out. Because you, you, you ain't getting put out You ain't getting put out in a week. But it's a month. You had a month to come up with this. But now it's my job to give you $400 because we've been yeah. talking for two days. Yep. Get the fuck. That's how they play. You ain't been single. It, so this is how they play. Yeah, they be, been single they be like, time. how you doing? Oh, I'm good. Just a little sad. What you sad about? Well, mm-hmm. you my know My car what? ain't got no gas. My ass ain't got no grass. Not my so and so is sick, and mm-hmm. like I had to like stop going to work for. Sound like you ain't got no job, baby. Like, like, like next, the, like the dude. <laughs> the one. Where he go? He say, please hear me. We on the phone talking. He say, um, he was like, I'm at the park. And I was like, okay, it's like in me, it's like midday. Like I'm at work though, but he like I'm at the park. I'm like, uh, what park you in? He was like, Creed. I think he said Creed, Creed Cool. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, that's uh, that's where you uh, you live out there or whatever. This motherfucker say, you live in Creed Cool. I'm like, you live like you live out there. He say, <laughs> nah, I be. Like I, I mean, uh, like no, nah, he said he be in what's that West Westport. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that's where. I was like, uh, he's gonna say I be in Westport. I said, oh, that's where your house at. He was like, uh, he be at the house. No, he said no. He didn't even say that's where he, he said he be in Westport. I was like, oh, okay. He said something else, and I was like. Wait, I was like, wait a minute, you don't, you don't got your own place? He was like, that's when he came back and was like, nah, I got, uh, it was a, I had like a slum lord, blah, 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 whatever, 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 whatever. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, mm-hmm. at, at 45, now I get, now this is my thing, I get, <laughs> no, for real, because I get that well, stuff, happens. I get that life happens, I get that, I ain't, and, and I'm not one to, Kick a dude while he dance, especially not my black men. I'm not going to do that. I just won't do it. But, bro, do you think trying to pursue somebody is the right thing that you should be doing right now? Listen. That should not be your main focus. I'm not I'm not going to knock your living situation. I, I'm not. Motherfuckers be like, well, right now I'm, I'm you know, saying to my mom. And I ain't trying to beat her. Okay, cool. Guess what? That means you hustling. He said he you got a foundation to start. You're staying, you. but he said he's staying in different hotels. My thing is, you know, I would have almost preferred him to tell me that he was staying at his fucking mama house. Because it sounds like a situation that. I got you. <laughs> On that note, I got you. Like this a is another episode of real. But I just. Uh, <laughs> I I'm noticing that, you know, a lot of people watch the show, but a lot of y'all not subscribed. Yeah. Y'all need so to subscribe. Like, subscribe yeah. to the show. No, for real. For this communication yeah. conversation, if you are more of a texter, give us the video a I'm thumbs a up. If you're a phone call person, give a thumbs down. And in the comments, just say why you prefer each one. And to we said earlier, I feel like if somebody texts you, putting an effort to text you, you should respond back. And, mm-hmm. and say why you don't like texting or why you don't like you don't rather be a phone person. But my thing is, you run out of conversation, you sit on the phone too. Man, I don't want to hear you breathing. Yeah. No, for real. And then my thing is, motherfuckers gonna text you, and you text them back, and then they want to text back okay and one word answers. That ain't no fucking communication. Oh, <laughs> that ain't no communication. Okay. So again, if you will subscribe, please. Again, until next time, communicate with your people, my people, your people. Hmm. Our people. P forty five. We out of here. <laughs> P forty five. That was a good one.